Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty4. Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 5. In the last episode, we went through a weird portal and got stuck in the sky. And there's these weird people, and there's this culture that they're not allowed to build. They have to sign up to be able to use a crafting table. They have to sign up to be able to use a furnace. It's really weird, so let's jump in. Okay, so we're going to a meeting. Oh, it's the founder! Oh, she looks like an Egyptian princess. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh no. That's not doing? good. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Yes, very distant. Like a hundred blocks away. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Yeah. Obscene the builders! Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts. Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. And I will kill you. We need to get to the source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait, don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come. Hey, don't treat him like that. Uh, didn't do anything should've wrong. let him go. The builders! Who huh. you'd see it my way. Hey! Hands off the road. Guards, bring them forward. It really is the fastest way in. I mean, they have to break out of jail, but... I promise! Excuse me, excuse me. Come with me. I think it'll work out. I mean, it has to, right? We meet at last. <laughs> Hello there, Founder. I'm Jesse. So I gathered. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. So why is she okay with those guys? How'd they get into, uh, the place? Did they just fall into the middle of the town? Why don't- yeah, because everybody should hate them too. For your service to Sky City, I grant you these gifts. What service? A new car! I grant she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. I doubt it. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. But what's their Parents? service? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Fucking carrots. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. I'm not gonna say anything. Be sure to tell me what it's like to get thrown off the edge of a floating city, okay? Okay. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. So he's being a dick to a guard, Come that's on, okay. Girls. Time to see the founder. Yeah, good. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What are we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. 
Me. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. No. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, 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 you got it all wrong. The, the Blaze Rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Yeah. Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. And then I died. She is gonna throw me off there, isn't she? Whoa, she looks kind of upset. Like, scared, almost. Tell me what you see. Uh... What are you getting at here? As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. Resources. Every kind are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Okay. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. Okay. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our. I saw world. the way your eyes moved. Uh, People act as though I want things to be this way, allocating the limited resources, risking my life every day. Your life. Wait, risking your life is the Eversource dangerous? More than you could know. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. How did we get here? How I did you get here? I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. You mostly just talked. I understand it now. But... Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. Kill them! I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource. The fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Well, shit. Yes, ma'am. What? Sure you can build a jail? But, but we were getting along so well. <sighs> I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. How the hell do you get off a place like this? Actually, there's a lot of incest here. <laughs> That's the first thought to get in my mind, I'm sorry. You guys have some really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. You really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? Sand? You've never seen sand before? That's fine. It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? It falls. Are you kidding me? It suffocates you. We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. He needs to be educated. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burned down trees just for fun. 
that you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. Okay. Oh, come on, you can't really believe all that, can you? If he really wanted you to not like us, he would have told you about Whoa. the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ivor. <laughs> uh, well, it was a lot to take in. I suppose you don't seem that way now that I meet you. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Okay. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Where would I go? Reginald, you're the captain of the guard. If you don't think you can trust the blaze rods, you should listen to those instincts. They're personal guests of the founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but I'm probably just being paranoid. Richie, think about it. They want you out of the way. They're upstairs, beefing up security with the founder while you're what? Down here, locking up prisoners? Right. Well, I'm down here. Who knows what they're telling her? Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, captain of the guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. Right? Okay, maybe you don't like me very much, but tell me this. Who do you not like more, me or Aiden? It's not a good argument, but I did choose it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hmm. Not in all cases. Hmm. Just this one. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. How long would you say something like that would take you, on average? Probably about as long as it would take someone to get from here into the throne room. Okay. Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. That was surprisingly easy and convenient. Ha! Ah, nice work! Now, on to the episodes. I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? I'm actually starting to have my doubts about taking the Eversource. These people really seem to depend on it. What? So you'd rather just hand it over to the blaze rods? I didn't say that. It would be one thing if we were plundering a temple, but this? This is starting to feel like stealing. Ivor's right. The blaze rods have got to be stopped. Now, why is it so dangerous? Sand. Throne room was back this way. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> well, here we are. Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Uh. Watch out! Ugh. Hey! Whoa! Wait! Stop! Milo, easy! It's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse! I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me! Ah, uh, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. I'm bad. Where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. You trust this guy, Petra? Yeah, he really helped me. He's cool. Okay. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. 
In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. But it's dangerous. If Aiden and really? Blaze Rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's got to be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. It's probably in there. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. Yes, I do know how that shit works. Okay, so a lever. Uh, well, there's a crafting table at least. But all I have on me is a sword, a cake, and a pumpkin. Oh, because I had to replay the beginning part and I didn't feed that guy the cake. Okay, well... Am I looking for a chest or something? Oh, I guess I'll go to the bookcase. I don't know what else there is to click on here. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? Good question. Very good question. I have a feeling that this whole thing is a lie. It, we're not really in, like, you know, above the void. We're just so far above land that we can't see it. Seriously, though, I'm looking for a lever. Am I blind? You got any clues, Ivor? There isn't, like, a potion or something that could help us, is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. It wasn't well, for well, you. You're welcome, Ivor. Now go away! All of this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. What about you, Petra? You got any... See help? anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm not really trying to. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Me too. I don't see a lever or any materials to make a, a lever. I mean, there's a crafting table out here, but... Cobblestone generator? Huh. <gasps> a cobblestone generator. Amazing! Not really. Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius! Okay. That is ingenious. Is that like the whole ever source right there? Okay, so now I need a stick. Where would I get a stick? Oh, I bet Milo has sticks. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. There's a dead bush out there. Because in 1.9... Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Yeah, sticks! I know! Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Uh, don't I still need a piece of iron? No, wait, that's a, that's a, never mind. I'm thinking about something else. Okay, let's do this. I'm thinking about a tripwire hook. Okay, so there's a stick. There's cobblestone. So let me get this straight. Is the whole Eversource, that fucking generator, and that dead bush that grows in that pot? Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go put that, uh... Thing. This. This thing. It goes right here. That's really loud. Excellent. This is it. Eversource, here we come. 
Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. So, we met the founder, and she looks like Cleopatra. When we got in, I mean, we had to get arrested, but it was the fastest way in, and we got out of jail, like, way too easy. And, um, now we are going into the throne room. Which is a good thing, right? We're not gonna die, right? Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Drop me down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please don't like and subscribe for more videos for me. And I'll see you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Then there's nothing left to say. Well, I just don't know how we can make that work. Where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Where did you go? No, really. We can't just go back to normal gameplay after that. Where the fuck did he go? Ooh, that, that whole conversation just bothered the shit out of me. Like, what am I supposed to even do?